Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, one of my parents' friend's daughter uh, just turned 18, and she didn't want to care for her frog. Well, she never did. Uh, but uh, it's an African dwarf frog. She kept it in this tiny container. It's very tiny, about maybe a quart. <laughs> um, and she had it filled up to about here. And the water, super nasty. I took most of the water out, but you can still see all of that nastiness. And she never cleaned the tank. Um, her excuse was she didn't know how, but um, I think it's kind of obvious. So I moved this uh, cage over here. It's a three gallon uh, tetra thing, I don't know. Um, but I have my little makeshift filter. It's kind of like a sponge filter where I have the bubbly thing the bubble stone. Uh, I have a longer bubble stone in mine. Then I put some some of that in here and then tied it off with rubber bands and then covered it with rocks. So it's in the back and it's filtering all of the water. Um, I have a fake piece of coral right there that he loves to play around with. Um, it just gives him some extra hiding spots and um, just some uh, just some play area instead of just plain nasty water. Um, he has three different plants and gravel for the bedding. It's the gravel is about a fourth fourth of an inch to half an inch. Um, so he can definitely not swallow it. He's right here in the corner. And I just knocked something over. But he's right there. He just kind of got himself trapped a little bit. Come on. He's alive. Trust me. Come on. Get out. There he is. So, as I said, he is an African dwarf frog. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on them to see if they can live um, in, with multiple frogs because I don't want this guy to get really lonely and stuff. And to see what type of fish can go in here. I kind of want to get some... Uh, just some fancy guppies because I had some good luck breeding them and um, maybe if he wants he can eat some of the babies if he can catch them um, there's just another view at the bubbles and that's pretty much his cage uh, these guys are fully aquatic so they do not need any uh, land area to get out of and all that um, and yeah, it's pretty much his setup. I don't have any heat for him because uh, my bathroom stays pretty warm. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, he is on this food. Uh, it's what he likes the most. Let's feed him and see if he'll eat it. Come on. There we go. Just gave him about, about five pellets. And the bad part about these is that she let them sit out so long that they don't float anymore. Um, so I'll probably have to buy some floating ones or just crush up some turtle food. But he's a cute little guy. Um, sad that he had to be neglected like that, but um, still, he has a way better home now. So tell me what you think, and uh, that's pretty much it. See ya.